So on this particular piece, um, some of you might, might disagree with what I said, some of you might agree. Again, this particular piece is my opinion. Uh, I don't expect anyone to share my opinion, but it's basically my experience, what I've seen with the competition and, and what's happening on a global scale. So please, uh, take this content with a small uh, grain of salt and ask yourself that question. You know, are we ready to are we ready to are we ready? Are we? Welcome to the HN Show. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, an article I read. Uh, actually it was on Twitter called Disrupt Africa. An article that talks about how African technology company raised 195 million dollars uh, for the tech company in the fintech industry and other part of the tech industry as a whole cut 195 million dollars. But there's another article that came out on LinkedIn that shows how Israel, one country, raised 2.1 billion dollars for the tech industry. 2.1 and over five, I mean 20 billion dollar exit. I don't know the, the exact number, but it's amazing to me how we excited. They were talking about uh, last year Africa raised 160 million uh, uh, dollars uh, and then we had a raise of 30 plus million. And how we excited about that. There is no way, there is no way as a continent we'll be able to solve or, or, or really grow the way we want with this kind of money and so I'm not even sure what we're excited about you know it's very interesting how I read this article and how we get you know excited about a few million raised uh, we're not even getting to the billion you know we need like less than 200 million and we're talking about 54 countries that are raising less than 200 million how are we supposed to achieve any impact how are we supposed to keep up and, and, and compete with the, in the global economy. I'm not sure how that's gonna happen. So, you know, that's something that I, I was reading about it and it was very, very frustrating. And I couldn't believe that people were actually excited about it. So I truly believe for the tech industry to really boom uh, on the African continent. Is if we have no exit, it's just not gonna work. If we don't find a way um, to build an exit structure, an ecosystem, where a company can actually, you know, purchase a bar by the big company and create an exit system, then investors just not going to be coming the way they're supposed to come. Because at the end of the day, this all ecosystem needs to make sense for all the different players. You know, whether it's the investors, the tech uh, um, companies developing the technology, the customers, and all those things. And why we're not dominating in this industry is because we don't have the right ecosystem. And that's what we need to focus on and we need to focus on the government. 